So that means we're going to have to actually do the relevant quest to get Nick. Which means, uh... You're going to have to do some story questing. I know. We're actually going to have to remember what we were doing here in the first place. And so, it's this, you know, thrilling loading screen that's popping up. Okay. Sound yeah. check. That's what people really come hit come for. What the sound checks? No, the loading the loading screens. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely not our witty uh, commentary or uh, you know story hour with Nancy. <laughs> so, yeah, well, let's see what we have up. So, okay, there's Kate. Kate, we're throwing you to the dogs. Well, you might as well fast travel to get, uh... For a second, I thought she had, like, a scar pattern. But, yeah, we're going to have to go back and get... Uh, I'll actually streamline things if we... Go and get dog meat. I will cry if somebody tries to do something to dog meat. Yeah. I'm just saying. I, I will I will have to cut us I will have to cut someone yeah. if they do something to dog meat. But it actually makes yeah, it just makes things faster to go get dog meat now rather than waiting for the game to tell us you need dog meat. Oh yeah, that's right, you do need dog meat. Which makes it really sound like you've got kind of a dietary addiction. You know. Well, it technically doesn't doesn't you know Archer have uh, an alcohol addiction? That's nope. no longer an addiction. <laughs> yeah, we fix that. Word of a settlement that needs our help. God I'll damn it, Preston! Map. Go find out what they need. See, this is what we were talking about with Preston. Fuck you, Preston. Preston, I didn't even talk to you. <laughs> Why is I came within fifty feet of you? You know something? I'm getting a fucking restraining order. Huh? Hey, boy. You... Seriously. I didn't even tell him I wanted to help the Minutemen. You didn't even talk to him. It's like, oh, hey, you. Yeah, that's right. You, you have, you're supposed to go do stuff and, and things and, well, here's a job for you. Slap on the back. Yeah. <laughs> no, Kate doesn't have anything to say about us uh, taking dog meat instead of her. I think she's just is that disappointed. Really, is that really surprising? Oh, that's true. Usually she sits there she and... She usually uh, gets a little bit feisty if you're going to go take another woman. Yeah. It's like, you scavenging dog. She's not yeah, it's wrong. Like with you picking picking up dog me, it's like, oh, I see. You guys are going to go booze hounding. Okay. You know, dog meat is completely the kind of dog that would drink your alcohol. You better not. Huh? Well, yeah, not hard liquor, but... <laughs> You could you could pour dog meat a beer is what I'm saying. Oh, is that what you're saying? Well, you know, as long as that's as long as we're clear. What? Yeah, nothing. You keep looking over at me like I've done something. Well, have you? Not recently. No. Well, then all is well. Super mutants consider themselves the Commonwealth's superior race. And everybody else disagrees with them. <laughs> you know something? There's something highly political I yes. could say. I'm going to refrain. Was that mannequin's eyes gouged out? Let's take a look. It looks gouged out. I. No. Yeah. It's just kind of creepy they actually have the mannequins just set up there, but... Huh? I don't know, is it supposed to be like, you know... <clears throat> huh? Yeah, nope, never mind. I have no idea what that guy's up to. So let's go see Nick. It's that guy. Anyway. Allie? Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. 
Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved me. Also, he's if kind of a robot. That's my job. Thank you. Metal <laughs> detective delivery at your service. Happy to be in a niche market, that's for sure. Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, I mean, if you're a the fedora. Role, you don't mind putting on the detective hat? Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One a trench coat and a fedora. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. We get to play detective. Yay. We're Just what I've always wanted. Missing. The devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can. No matter how painful it might be. Let's see. We're looking for my son. Sean. Is this sounding a little bit quiet to you, or is that just me? He's less than a year old. It does seem a little bit on the Why would anyone softer take side. Good question. Could be that we didn't turn Why up the volume on our particular. Why on an television. Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. What else can you tell me? We were in a vault when it happened. Yeah, there we go. That, that's a little vault bit better. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Anything else you remember? My wife was murdered. Hmm. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean and they... This is actually one of those examples where there's one right answer that will move the conversation forward. So you can actually explore the dialogue a little bit more. To violence. Now that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course there's the Institute. Wait. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, Muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. <laughs> I think we can safely rule that. You know, way. sometimes they just like to break Who into song. High-end mercenaries. Oh, no job rascal. They're in the running as likely suspects. I'll be back. <laughs> wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. He's got litter all over that paw. Yes, he does. All You think over. Raiders might have and done this? <laughs> I honestly just... doubt it. They can barely organize themselves. Let You're alone supposed to be meticulously... meticulously Clean. Get fast about being clean. Ugh. So you think this institute Gross. is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen Damn. of the Commonwealth. <laughs> Something goes wrong, everyone huh. blames them. Easy to see Fuck why. Nugget. Those early model sense of theirs strip whole towns <laughs> apart, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as new, <sighs> infiltrate oh, cities and pull oh, strings from feline. the line. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. <clears throat> Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. Discarded prototype, anyway. Oh no, you're not getting away from me. <laughs> you're a prototype? As far as I know. Squish. Never seen any other synth like myself. Which there's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. That's gross. You don't know anything about them? <laughs> really? Some kind of security setting strips blocks yeah. out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Don't lie to me, Nick. You're one of them. They made you. Yeah, I've heard it all before. You're a freak. You've got something to hide. Blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, people smart enough to build okay. something like me are smart enough <laughs> to cover their tracks. They're arrogant enough to throw their unwanted trash into the Commonwealth. <sighs> to for itself. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Either way, I need to find Sean. Right. That uh, is one of the most disgusting things. Let's focus on what you saw. Our cat saw. What do these kidnappers <laughs> look like? Mm hmm. I'll never forget that voice. Low mm. and rough. 
like sandpaper across your face. Uh, not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? The man who killed my wife. He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it, but that sound. Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting huh. to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything yeah, you know, you tell me? a violent man with a gun describes a lot of people out here. Technically, that describes you. Out. True. I think uh, it was your a kind character, of I suit. mean, not not you personally. Had so, some sorry. Sort of metal huh. brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor. A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is story stuff. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. Yep. What else? Nick won the vote. Ah, yes. One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait, it couldn't be. Soviet you Womble. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? I've. I've oh, yeah. never heard of I heard Soviet their names, Womble. their home addresses, and where their diary keys are hidden. All right, all right, calm down. Hmm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here the in... The Shroud Canada. knows. And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned <laughs> West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. <laughs> see if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Actually, is your lock picking high enough to actually... Uh... Yeah. successfully pick the lock. Man, yeah, I could pick the lock. Okay. But I think I'll probably do it the talkie way. You and your your laughy talkie. Yep. Hm. Okay. Oh, yeah, I've got the things. Okay, come on, let me out. <laughs> Nick was just kind of hanging out there. Yeah, it's kind of funny. They act like Diamond City is big enough to have areas where the guards don't go into. I didn't want Ellie to <laughs> I mean, it's, and again, the guards are kind of lazy. Yeah, it's literally a shanty town inside a baseball field. Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. Well, a professional, quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies because they're all dead. Except. Ah, uh, don't we all wish that were the case? Barry, Mother Barry. <sighs> I like the nine to one odds. He's so very exact about it. Well, and again, he's a fucking cybernetic creation. Exactly. I mean, he is a walking, talking, fucking calculator. <laughs> he's not like, okay, you know, I figure, you know, maybe he's our guy. No, no, the odds are exactly nine to one that Kellogg is our guy. Because, you know, how many large, pistol-wielding, scar-faced, bald men Keep an eye out, with a penchant for violence? You know, that's just, you know, I think that's just statistical probability. Yeah. But yeah, I think Nick is just kind of uh, fun to hang out with because... Oh, wait. He's the private dick. Yeah, he's like a noir... He's the noir private dick. Yep. I mean, I mean, he's he he's. It's like Sam he, Spade. Exactly, it's like Sam Spade, or, or heck, even some of the you know other detectives, all like Harry Dresden. Yeah. Kind of you know fit into that. You know. Into that motif. That's it. It's just. Let's take a look around. Nah, you know, guy. There, there, there's. Now, oh, okay. I don't think that Nick is going to appreciate that kind of language. 
Okay. Ooh. We're, we're, <laughs> you, do we have any smooth jazz? We might. Is there a smooth jazz radio? There should be. So yeah, I I know exactly what I'm looking for here, but I'm also gonna raid uh, Kellogg's Check fridge and desk. steal his booze. If he has any other booze. Ooh, flip lighter. Yeah. So also you got a bunch of candle. candle. Maybe a rose in the teeth. <laughs> Maybe you guys can go out for dinner and dancing. For yeah. Anything out of sorts. So you've got a lighter, some candles, some handcuffs, and a bed. Along with coffee service for two. Hmm. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Another is to put it in a different place. That's a good point. Take handcuffs. Woo! That is not safe. I cannot I believe... I am pretty sure that OSHA would have a fit about this. Also, like, are you going to keep a child in a uh, place that's this unsafe? And it's the handcuffs that put you over the weight limit. Okay, let's see. Well, considering the fact that Nick could sit there and essentially almost... I'm sure he could probably pop off his hand. I really don't know why he would be into handcuff play. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Now, this is a man cave. Got the big old comfy chair, got the fusion cells, and but aren't the... that useful... Ooh, but they got some Gwinnett Stout. Gwinnett got Stout some beer. beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. And there's a 44 caliber San bullet Francisco on sunlights. that table. Mm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. That gourd. He was feeding our kid it's bland not, cuff. Look, it's not about being able to get out of the cuffs. <laughs> you know, that reminds me of when I was Wait. a kid. It's about getting into the cuffs. I, I, you know, I really feel like I'm like being the innocent here. Yeah. This is a weird feeling. I know. I don't like it. <laughs> when, I, when I was a kid, we actually had a set of handcuffs. I don't know why, but uh, I'm not commenting. I wonder if dog meat can pick up the set. <laughs> Hey, that's I'm not, not commenting idea. at all. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man. So this is I why mean, we, this is why we need dog meat. I mean, well, after all, dog meat seems you know, for the you do have an older brother. You let him have a whip. See if he picks up on the train. Not going there. Uh, <laughs> so anyway. I know this is. <laughs> you have to face Kellogg on your own. Just say so. He was brooding in this room. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. He was brooding, <laughs> huh? The... Well, I mean, it's certainly not a reading room. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, we had handcuffs, and I learned how to you, pick them with a... Uh... You, you could have just called it a fat fest, you know? Yeah. Me. Get the scent, boy. <laughs> I'm trusting my family's future to a dog. That's it. I'm officially crazy. <laughs> He's a good dog. He looks like our neighbor's dog, huh? Yeah. And now he's embedded in the floor. <laughs> dog meat, quit breaking the laws of physics. He's, he's humping the floor. <laughs> dog meat, dog meat, no. We're Bad just going to leave you here, dog meat. <laughs> Bad dog, heal, heal. Damn it. Oh, now, now our cat's cleaning his paws <laughs> on the fucking couch. Yeah. Uh, but, uh. Yeah, so I learned to pe I learned to pick handcuffs, mm. and uh, oh, there he is. Yeah, <clears throat> I learned to pick handcuffs with a. I think I used a bobby pin or a paper clip. No, a hairpin. Anyway, but I learned to do it, so I was like, okay, I've I got the whole handcuffs thing figured out. And then one day I decided, you know, it's too easy just doing them around my wrist. I. What? <laughs> it, well, it's too easy just doing them around the one wrist in front of me. So I figured I was going to learn how to pick handcuffs behind my back. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just... I'm just saying. I'm just saying. that that's Younger younger, younger Dave was, was an idiot. <laughs> yeah, so I think this was in the summer. And for whatever reason, my mom and my brother were gone. And so I'm just sitting there like... 
Well, here I am with my hands locked in handcuffs behind my back. <laughs> I'm alone. You're really lucky that your brother didn't catch you with that, because who knows what he would have, what kind of shit he would have pulled on you. Yeah. So, luckily, my cousin lived next door, so I had to grab the key mm. with my hands behind my back. And hop. this was during that time. Yeah, and so I had to hop over to my cousin's house with the key to get them to let me out of the handcuffs. Was, was there ever any kind of comment about this? No, my cousins being rednecks, they basically considered this to be a normal event. Huh, shoot. Kind of wonder why it took you so long. Um, pretty much. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, I think these are your relatives that I haven't met. <laughs> You're actually right, they are. <laughs> And yes, Nick likes high octane booze. He's a he's a cybernetic creation. So d- he like, wants to see you enjoy a life that he can't. Actually, or is he like Bender, where he runs out of alcohol? Mm. Not don't touch my stash. <laughs> Which you know that'd be is, awesome. Well, I mean, come on, this is Archer we're talking about. He's. And until I can actually, like, hand this stuff over, I'm going to be... Laden. Yeah, and I'm going to have to keep drinking, uh... Kellogg must have stopped here. Well, Search technically around. bathtub gin is, uh, high octane, but, uh, technically drinkable. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't advise it, but, you know, whatever. San Francisco Sunlights. I'm telling you, Kellogg's God knows preferred brand, second right. to none. Hmm. So we're basically following a set of breadcrumbs with dog meat. Is there anything on? in the, uh... Oh, the cooler? Well, the cooler... Well, if there is a cooler. Yeah. In the... In the box. Maybe. What the hell? Um, um... Fuck. Something out there. <laughs> How am I... Oof. Damn. Taking cover. Well, this is a nice surprise. Um, do do you really want to be over here with with Nick or with that car? Not particularly, but uh, I'll take what I can get. Fuck! Shot our dog. Fuck him up. Shot our dog with a rocket launcher. With a rocket launcher, no less. I thought. Okay, Nick is between us and him. Sweet, level up. We like that. And there's just like some random like dude right there. Hmm. Not count bullets time. <laughs> You're right. Lights out for you. Kicking the shit out of dog meat. Is that the same one? Which one's the one that had the rocket launcher? I think they all had rocket launchers. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, okay. That was fun. See, this is the fun stuff. I remember the first time you played this and there was a suicider. I think it was the first time you'd ever seen a suicider. Yeah, and I just sat there and And you just sat it. there and you were like, the fuck is this? Boom. Yeah. And you're the, the fuck? The fuck I just see? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I might as well grab all the stuff with them. But hey, now we have a missile launcher. Might have to lose the silencer. Okay, I don't need I don't need one missile launcher though. We're gonna quad barrel that thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, dog meat. Oh where Jesus! You at? They they all had one. Yes. Did you get the guy who? Oh, the random dude who was with them. Yeah. Did you talk to him? Ah uh, no, he was. Uh... He was like a random guy that we ended up saving. Yes, I knew that. Hey, go ahead. Okay, Nick, you're gonna carry some shit for me. I might regret this. Oh no, I was thinking about giving him the uh, rocket launcher. Mm. 
<laughs> that and I understand and you know actually taking cover taking cover yep here Nick have a hairbrush for your long luscious locks Oh, you and your alliteration. Uh, you know what? Here, you can carry the trench coat for the minute. How about the fedora? Um, yeah, I suppose. And you can carry some of my extra combat armor. <laughs> and take my... Yeah. That only weighs a pound. Here, take this 21-pound missile launcher. Okay, now we got all kinds of weight. Now, where the hell is dog meat at? Um. I, okay, there we go. Okay. There he is. I'm just patiently waiting like a good dog. And so, as we're following dog meat here, there's like certain set encounters that we're going to get, but that was not one of them. That was just a completely random, screw you, here's, some, here's three super mutants with uh, missile launchers. Mm -hmm. That's fair. And the mole rats, though, are scripted. Okay. Yeah, so the, one of the kind of neat things is that if you don't actually have dog meat with you, or if you somehow manage to get to this point without meeting dog meat, Nick will actually whistle and call dog meat. So evidently they have really? some kind... Yeah, he will actually summon dog meat. Because he's like, I've got a friend who can help us. And so I guess dog meat and Nick are actually friends. Hmm. Well, that's... That's something I didn't know. But you know, it's kind of too bad. You can just imagine, like, Nick and Dog Meets Adventures. You know, that sounds like the like an awesome film, The Adventures of Nick and Dog Meet. Yeah, it's like Robo Detective and his fr and his faithful dog sidekick. And his faithful companion. I'd watch that. Yeah. Okay, I don't know why it kicked me off the chat again. God damn it. So let's see, our suspect killed a bunch of raiders here. I'm guessing that they uh looks like another one of <laughs> Kellogg's pit stops. Keep your eyes open. See if that actually gets me back into the hmm. it Keeps logging me out. Let's see. Weird. Bloodied bandages. Bloody bandages. Dog, Dog me can track this. So he actually got injured. Hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? Love well, I think he was just using the bandages to control the bleeding until the stim pack did its work. Truly a dog eat dog world. I although I'll be honest, I feel bad for those uh I feel bad for those those mongrels. Because they didn't get to keep any of their fur. True. There's a raider over there, but he hasn't seen us, so we'll just let him live his uh, his life out. As long as he doesn't pester you, you can live right now. If we want to deal with him later, that's fine. Yeah. Because... I always lose track of where this is actually taking us. Honey, I don't even know where it is taking us. I mean, I know generally where it's taking us, but... Uh...
fair. Hmm. Good eating, eating on them. What was that to the left? To the right. Oh, it's just a Brahmin. Okay. Yeah, dead Brahmin. The bear is once again not random, so that's something you always get to see. Hmm. Yeah, dog does do dog meat does do his job pretty well. Yeah, he's actually you know, he's sitting there, he looks at a bear and he's like, eh, bring I, it. I can fucking take him. Oh crap, I didn't ever, ever use my level. No, you didn't. Go use it now. That's a good point. Oh, fighting one of the Aguayas with a 10 millimeter pistol only? Or is the best thing you have? Yeah, if you actually go like straight through the story, you can kind of get pretty well screwed. With things like that. So let's see. Don't need to improve my pistol skills. Um... Okay, you That's why it's always good to explore. Let's see. I could do more gun nut, but I don't think so. Not yet. Actually, no. I can't do gun nut. How about the profit? Actually, I'm gonna do some charisma because that whole goal of being at max charisma before we get the charisma bobblehead. Where is that one again? That's in the asylum. Oh yeah. 